Welcome to this joint uh, value made in UK drug testing product demonstration for the 10 powder panel test produced by all tests. Now this allows you to screen surfaces, powders, tablets and vegetative material for the presence of 10 drug groups in a single test procedure. So let's open this pack and show you how this test works. Now inside the foil is a standard design 10 prong panel. Take the cover off, you can see the sample panels. This is double sided, so there's five drug group tests on one side and a further five on the other side. Now, the mechanism for collecting the sample is to test the surfaces for residues of drugs. And the straightforward procedure on the surface that you suspect may be uh, contaminated with drugs is simply to wipe both sides of this test across the surface. Now obviously you want to use this as flat as possible on those surfaces to pick up any residues. And you can see collecting on those prongs some residue from this table surface. Now here is another example of a typical surface that you may want to concentrate the test in to detect the presence of drug residues. And it's a matter of just wiping the prongs repeatedly over the surface to collect residues from the surface for testing. Now when you have completed wiping the surface and you're happy with the sample you've collected, you then use the buffer solution to run the lateral flow tests. And to do that, you remove the cap from the buffer and apply the buffer holding the cap upright right the way across the inner aspect of the cap and then holding this upright you reposition the panel back in to the cap holding the test upright for between 5 and 10 seconds and that will start the lateral flow membranes running through the test device to determine the presence or absence of any drug residues for the 10 groups included. Now this test, in addition to being used for wiping surfaces for collecting drug residues, can also be used on powder residues where you come across examples such as this of a unspecified coloured powder that you may want to screen for the presence of drugs. You can also, if you come across part tablets or complete tablets, by crushing them into a powder, add those to the buffer solution for testing. And the process here is identical if you've got a vegetative matter such as what you are suspecting may be a spliff containing cannabis. You can take an element of that residue, the vegetative matter, and remove the lid from the buffer and add your substance to the buffer. Now the buffer usually takes around one and a half centimeters of the lower portion of the sample container. Do not look to add more than around 25% of the volume of buffer in the solution by powder or residues or vegetative matter. The reason for that is, particularly with some dry vegetative cannabis-like materials, they may be very absorbent if dry. Now you just agitate the buffer solution for around 20 seconds and leave it to stand and settle for about 30 seconds. And then again, to run the test, you simply remove the cap, add the solution, all the solution into the cap and reapply the test into the buffer solution. Again, keeping the test vertical for the first five to 10 seconds, which effectively simulates what would happen if the test membranes have been dipped into a normal urine sample. And you can see on this one, almost immediately, we're starting to run these lateral flows and they will run through the test line area and the control line area. And if sufficient buffer has been added into the cap, that should easily run the complete 10 membranes. And the read time for this panel is between 
five and ten minutes and you should give it ten minutes for any positive results which you're looking for for the absence of a test line in the presence of a control line and you can see almost immediately although this test hasn't run completely we've got all test lines and all control lines showing on this aspect giving negative results for all those five and the same on this five panel side of the 10 drug screen. Now, if I left that for the full 10 minutes and came back, then the clear background should have occurred and the pink dye should have completely migrated up into the top section of these test membranes. But it's perfectly okay to interpret a fully negative result as soon as the control lines are fully showing. As long as you've got nice clear test lines, that's clearly negative. And that's it, a simple and easy way to screen surfaces, powders, tablets, or vegetative material for the presence of these 10 common drug groups.